I saw a post today that indicated that they liked crossing their straps, but that they found it hard to do on their own. And so they were looking for an easier carrier. And I thought, oh, crossing your straps is so easy, but it took me a long time to figure out how to make it simplified. So I just thought I'd do a quick video on crossing straps. So I'm using an Ergo Baby Omni. This is a carrier that has a buckle in the armpit. Can you see that? So I can unbuckle it and then cross my straps and buckle them into each other. And then if you have other carriers, Lily Baby has buckles in the armpit, Becco has them in their carriers, um, Soul Slings has them. Who doesn't have them? Boba 4G doesn't have them and Tula doesn't have them. They use ladder locks instead. Um, Integra and Connecta both have buckles in their armpits. Mm, Integra does, Connecta doesn't. No, Connecta does. <laughs> Too many carriers. Um, sometimes people like them and sometimes they don't. Um, on the Ergo Baby, I appreciate that the bottom of my strap is here and my buckle is over here. I like that because I find it's easier for me to do it buckles myself this way. I also find that means the buckle's on my baby and it's not rubbing in my armpit. Versus if the buckle were on my strap back here, sometimes it rubs. And so I like this positioning. Okay, so if I wanted to cross my straps on my own, I find that it's really useful to first start without having baby up. So I'm gonna just take my baby down. My baby is a doll. I'm gonna set my baby on a surface where they can't fall. But if you have a real baby, the floor is excellent for that. So the first thing I wanna to do to be able to cross my straps is just prep my carrier. So for me on my Ergo Baby, I'm gonna unbuckle my strap. Like I'm a human who can do this. Um, and I'm gonna slide it through this piece of elastic here. It's the safety elastic, it sort of catches in case anything were ever to happen to your carrier. I've never known a buckle on a carrier to break except a woman who shut it in her van door and kept using her carrier. And I think that might be the van door situation, not a buckle situation. So I just undid my straps. So now, ta-da, my straps are loose. The other thing I wanna do is I have all my extra webbing rolled up here is I want to unroll my webbing. The reason being, if you remember math class, if you have a rectangle, oh my God, I make my arms smaller guys, short side of the rectangle, long side of the rectangle, but the longest place on a rectangle is diagonal right here. So when we do our backpack straps, we have this length, but when we cross them, our straps need to actually be able to be longer to reach. So I'm going to prep for success. I'm just gonna take my buckle and give myself a little bit more length. I don't wanna give myself all this length because if I look at my body size, I'm like, man, I could like go around myself twice if I do that. I just need enough to get it across my back. And if you wear with cross straps, you will find sort of your happy sweet spot to it. So I'm just giving myself some strap length to use. And I'm doing the same over here. Now before I pick up my baby, I just want to show you what my goal is. My goal is that I'm gonna pick up my baby and put them in the carrier. I'm gonna bring up the carrier panel. Shoulders are my straps, right? I'm holding my baby because the baby's not gonna be secure. And then I'm going to hold that buckle. Remember I said I like how the buckle is mounted to the carrier? Because this way, my arm holds the baby, and my hand holds the buckle, and then my other hand can get the strap back here. So I'm gonna do it with the baby doll. But my goal is to make it as easy as possible to buckle up my carrier. Okay, so let's do it with the baby. Again, baby doll, not a real baby, but make sure that you're always supporting your baby because the carrier right now is not secure. So I bring up the carrier behind my baby, right? I'm holding my baby. I'm gonna put my shoulders on my straps, or straps on my shoulders. It's been a long day, guys. I'm really ready for Friday. All right, so you can see that right now, even though my carrier is not secure, my baby is secure because my baby is in arms. So my left hand is holding my baby with the arm and my left hand ends up being magically right where this buckle is. So that allows me to hold it. My right arm is gonna reach for the far away strap, the left strap. Let's turn all the way back. And you don't have to be super flexible. Like to reach at the top of my strap, I would have to be really flexible. But remember, I lengthened my strap, so I got lots of length to reach and to be able to find that strap. So I apply my strap. I pull my strap down first. See how that like slack disappears? And then I just drag my hand along it until my buckle comes over. And now it's really easy for me to buckle because my hands are right here together. I mentioned this before, Ergo has a little safety loop. 
So I'm just gonna slide it through the loop and buckle. Notice that my left arm has not moved. I'm still holding baby with this arm, even while my hands are doing all this, because I'm only moving my hands, but my left arm is supporting my baby. So now I'm gonna reverse it. So my right arm is gonna hold the baby, and my right hand is available. My right hand can easily reach this clip. I have lots of slack, so no matter how flexible you are, you can probably get a hold of some of this. And I'm just gonna pull my strap down and then across my back. Again, I have that little safety loop I can slide through. Black safety loop on black carrier can be a little tricky. But again, my right arm is still holding my baby. Buckle that and then tighten. Now I mentioned pulling on my straps. So if you cross your straps and then pull them really tight, I find that straps can creep up your neck. And I find that if it sits right here, it's gonna hurt. So I always like to pull all the slack straight down and then across my body so that I get a nice fit. So this way, my baby is now has crossed straps. I was able to hold my baby the whole time and support them. And because of where my hands end up, it was really easy for me to refine the strap, refine where I need to buckle and connect and do it on my own. Anyways, when I first started baby wearing, I thought cross straps were really hard because I couldn't reach it. And then I was like, I only have one hand over here because I'm holding my baby. And when I moved my arm across my baby to use my arm instead of my hand to hold the baby, I suddenly had two hands and it was much easier. So that's how you do it. And then to take my baby off, I do the same. This particular carry has a safety buckle, so I need a third finger. I don't know if you noticed me doing that earlier. Just let go of my strap because I switched with my hands. All right, so now my carrier has no straps done up, so I am holding my baby and I can bring my baby down and put my baby on a soft surface. Now, when I just did that, I unbuckled, but I didn't loosen. So if I were to go put my baby up again, I wanna give myself again a few inches of extra space so that I can easily reach and pull it along. All right, I hope that helps somebody buckle up with cross straps while you're solo. Thanks.